，你以前留过学吗？留学可以让你开阔自己的视野，而且对找工作很有帮助。我们今天来听一听佩佩在哪里留过学，还有他现在的情况怎么样。这是我的表妹张佩，大家都叫她佩佩。因为他比我小不少，所以可以说我是看着他长大的。佩佩从小的梦想就是当一名记者，为了这个梦想，他去了英国留学，最近刚刚毕业回来。你现在算是海归了，对吧？算海带吧。海归和海带什么区别啊？我们先来复习旧词，然后预习新词。Vocabulary review， 为了。梦想，英国，毕业，海。New vocabulary: 留学 ，to study abroad. 留学，算 ，to consider as, to count as. 算，海归 ，return student. 海归，海带 ，return student waiting for a job。海带，区别 ，difference, distinction。区别。我们现在来看第一句话。为了这个梦想，他去了英国留学。为了这个梦想。她去了英国留学。For the sake of the stream, she went to UK to study abroad. 梦想这个词我们上节课学过了，它的意思就是 dream。我们以前见过留学这个词，留学的意思就是 to study abroad。留本身的意思就是 stay。学本身的意思就是 study， 所以有点像你去别的国家的时候留在那里学习。留学生的意思就是 overseas student。你知道吗？我中学的时候在澳大利亚留过学，而我的好朋友王明南在法国留学了很多年。I studied abroad in Australia when I was in middle school. Yet my good friend Wang Mingnan studied abroad in France for many years. 如果有机会的话，我建议你去中国留学。这样的话，你的中文会进步的很快。为了这个梦想，他去了英国留学。最近刚刚毕业回来。最近刚刚毕业回来。She recently just graduated and came back. 我们来看一下这句话。我们说的是最近刚刚 recently just 毕业回来 graduated and came back。在中文里，我们经常会用最简单、最快的方式来把一句话说完。在这里，我们就是这么做的。最近刚刚毕业回来 ，She recently just graduated and came back. 最近刚刚毕业回来。你现在算是海归了，对吧？你现在算是海归了，对吧 ？You're now considered a 海归 ，right? 我们来说说“算”这个词。算 means to consider or count as. We also learned a few other words before using the character 算 like 打算 to plan, and 算了 forget it. 在中文里，算这个词非常常用，而且在我们的课里经常用到算这个词。我建议你把算这个词好好学一下。我们可以说算，也可以说算是，都行。我们看几个例子吧。She's only forty years old. That isn't considered old. 她只有四十岁，不算了。He counts as the type of guy that's unfaithful. 他算是很花心的那种男生。你也可以说
他属于喊花心的那种男生。This pair of shoes is only forty RMB. That doesn't count as expensive. 这双鞋就四十块人民币，不算贵呀。In English, you probably don't need to say "considered old" or "counts as expensive" that much. You often just say "is old" or "is expensive," but we use "算" all the time in Chinese. 习惯一下吧。我们现在听到了“海龟”这个词，“海”的意思就是 sea， 龟的意思就是 to return。龟 is a formal and literary way of saying return。海龟 means return student。海龟的意思就是说，一个出国留学的学生，留学完以后就回国了，在国内发展。让自己国家更好。Here you see how Chinese people play with words. The character "gui" has the same pronunciation as "gui," which means turtle. So "hai gui" sounds the same as "hai gui" sea turtle. It's actually very clever because you can think of a turtle crossing a vast ocean to migrate back home, which is also what the return students "hai gui" do. 对很多中国人来说，海归是一个好词。很多中国的大公司都喜欢招海归，就是那些留学回国的学生，因为他们通常受过很好的教育，而且英语也不错。你现在算是海归了，对吧？算海带吧。算海带吧。I'm considered a 海带。我问了佩佩，他算不算海归？他回我说，他算海带。这些年，在中国有一个比较流行的词，叫做“海带”。海的意思是 sea， 带 is part of the word， 等待 to await。海带 literally means sea waiting， but its approximate translation in English is return student waiting for a job。海归是回国工作的人，而海带就是回国以后没有找到工作，但是等待工作的人。Again, this is a play on words. 海带 sounds exactly like 海带 kelp. To remember the word 海带 you can think of how kelp is floating around in the ocean, which is kind of how some 海带 students may feel. In between countries and in a tough position in looking for their next steps. So basically, when I asked her, "So you're considered a sea turtle now, right?" she cleverly responded with, "I'm more like kelp." These terms "hai gui" and "hai dai" are commonly used among younger Chinese people these days. Is hai dai? Hai gui and hai dai what's the difference? 海龟和海带有什么区别呀 ？What is the difference between 海龟 and 海带？因为海带是一个比较新的，最近这些年才在中国流行的词，所以我当时不是很确定这两个词有什么不一样，所以我问他：海龟和海带。有什么区别呀 ？What is the difference between 海龟 and 海带？我只是没有说有这个词。我们来看看“区别”这个词。区别 means difference or distinction。区别这个词对学习中文的学生来说非常有用。我们来看个例子吧。I can't tell by hearing what the difference is between these two words. 我听不出来这两个词的区别。如果你完全不知道我们和咱们的区别，你可以问你的中国朋友：“我们和咱们这两个词有区别吗 ？”Is there a difference between these two words? 
我们 and 咱们，或者我们和咱们这两个词有什么区别 ？What is the difference between these two words? 我们 and 咱们。我建议你任何时候。不知道两个词意思上的区别，你可以用百度这个网站搜索一下 ，Word A 和 Word B 有什么区别？海龟和海带什么区别啊？我们今天了解到了佩佩刚刚从英国回来，我们还学到了两个有趣的词：海龟和海带。了解到了中国人是怎么玩文字游戏的。我们下次看看佩佩如何解释海带与海龟的区别。我们下次继续。这是我的表妹张佩，大家都叫她佩佩，因为她比我小不少，所以可以说我是看着她长大的。佩佩从小的梦想就是当一名记者。为了这个梦想，他去了英国留学，最近刚刚毕业回来。你现在算是海归了，对吧？放海带吧。海归和海带什么区别啊 ？These lessons in our upper intermediate conversational course will help you take your Mandarin into the real world. The first three units of the course are free on our website yoyochinese.com. So sign up and see how we can help you take your Mandarin skills. The next level, and for live hangouts and a lot of great bonus content, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.